In this video, we're going to learn the simple guidelines to fix anything mechanical. Yep, anything. Lawn mowers, automobiles, submarines. These are time-tested methods from dear old dad. Let's get to it. First, read. This is the hardest part. Once you can read, it's all downhill from there. Find a Haynes manual, or even better, the manufacturer's full service manual. These give proven methods to achieve what you're trying to do, or at least tips you would need to not break it any further. Get the right tools. Typically, wrenches, ratchet arms, and sockets are all you'll need. If the tools you need won't be used in the next three years, loan it from an auto parts store. Get the right parts. Before installing your new part, always compare it to the old one. Compare connectors and key dimensions. Stay safe. Use safety glasses when you bang on something. Use mono goggles if you will be splashing anything. Use a dust mask if you're going to create dust. Protect your arms with long sleeves if there are hot surfaces. And last, avoid sticking your hands near moving parts like an engine fan. It'll take your fingers off. Organize! Have a small parts bin handy. As you take off fasteners, fill the trays from left to right and top to bottom. Stuff a note in each tray describing what the fasteners are for. You can also write down tips to help with the installation later. And don't get cocky and skip this. Only tiny baby jobs won't require this. Organizing fasteners is essential for fixing anything in a timely manner. If you've been searching, sorting, and losing parts, this causes a lot of rework and wasted time. Stay clean. Nothing is more frustrating than being covered in grease while trying to hold a wrench. It's good to have a two-gallon bucket of water, some hand cleaner, and shop towels near your work site. Not only will this let you wash your forearms, it can also be used as a parts cleaner. You can wire brush something clean underwater to make it like new without ruining your cardigan. Be gentle. A good mechanic never leaves a trace. Nothing is marred or scratched. Never pry a mating surface apart. This may scratch the surface. In turn, it may not seal. Examples are engine heads to engine blocks. Instead, use a brass drift or rubber mallet to jolt the sections apart. Brass is softer than most metals, so it doesn't leave a mark. However, nothing works well with plastic, so never bang or pry on plastic parts. They always have a molded clip that allows them to separate. Make sure you understand how they are designed to come apart. Trigger on frustration. If you find yourself mad at a part, then you are not in the right mindset to continue. It's just a machine, man. How can you be mad at it? It's just sitting there. I didn't call you a name and make fun of you. Go inside, wash your hands, eat a sandwich, and once you are over your frustration, get back to it. Torque to spec. When you put something back together, there's a specific tightness each fastener should be tightened to. The unit of measure is called torque. Torque is the equivalent amount of force applied to a one-foot lever. Like this. Divide the torque by three and do a crisscross pattern. Do this three times to reach full torque. Give it a few more passes at this setting and it's good to go. If you do this, you don't have to worry about doing the job again to do leaks. Last, clean up the work and tools. Wipe off your tools and put them where they should go. This will save you time on your next job. Now go out and get a new tool with the money you saved. Over time, you will have a toolbox that will allow you to fix anything. If you like this video, please subscribe for more inspiration and fun. Let's get to it. Good job. Use a dust mask if you will be creating airborne respiratorial particles. <laughs> Respirable. Respiral particles. Rest. <laughs> Respirable. Respir <laughs> Respirable. Respirable. There you go. Particles. Use a dust mask if you will create airborne respirable particles. 
Use an air mask if you'll be creating airborne respiracal particles. <laughs> <laughs> that kid? No. Use a dust mask if you were create dust. <laughs>